guys welcome back in this video I'm going to talk to you about some of the supplies that you need to get started with punch needle let's talk about the most important tool that you need for punch needle the needle and the one that I have here is the small labor punch needle and the reason why I think this one is perfect for those ones that are just getting started is because it's really easy to use and because you can achieve different texture and dimension in your embroidery with this needle. It comes with three different sizes of needles that you can use depending on the size of yarn that you want to use in your project. Next, let's talk about the yarn that you need for punch needle. You can use any type of yarn that you like, but you have to take in consideration the type of needle that you have. You can only use a medium sized yarn or thinner on a needle like the one that I just mentioned. For medium sized yarn, I use a size 4 and this is what it looks like. You can also use a thinner yarn and it's going to look something like this. This yarn is really easy to find. You can find it at pretty much any store and they usually carry a lot of colors to choose from. Let me show you an example of a project that I have done using the small labor punch needle and a medium sized yarn. Now the question that a lot of people ask me, what type of fabric should I use? It's important to use the right type of fabric, especially if you're just getting started. A good fabric for punch needle is this one here called Mons Cloth, and this is a loose weave fabric. It normally comes in this natural color, and with a count number, which means the number of holes per inch. This is important to know so you have an idea of how loose the fabric is and what type of punch needle should you use with it. This one that I have here is a 12 count and it's what I use for most of my projects and what I consider to be a good fabric to start with. You're going to notice that some month's gloss comes with guidelines. I prefer the ones without any guidelines like this one because they look the best, especially if you're going to have some fabric showing on your project. Now let's talk about the frames you can use, and I think the perfect option is an embroidery hoop. They're easy to find with many different size options to choose from, and they work really well. You can learn, practice, and make beautiful pieces by using embroidery hoops. I like to get mine online because I prefer the ones with the gold hardware. I really hope this video was helpful and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Don't forget to check out the description box, I have links to the products that I mentioned in this video. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos that I upload every week. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.